two is a little interesting one. Um, all right. Where would I find information on the number of screws that are required for securing light gauge steel studs for a partition wall? So we have two different types of answers. We have uh, A and C are floor plans and building sections, so that's talking about the drawing set. And then B and D are Division 9 and Division 5, which is talking about the CSI divisions, uh, which is presumably in this uh, this scenario talking about the uh, specification book, the um, project manual. Uh, so let's first talk about the floor plans and the building sections. Uh, if we were talking about something as detailed as the number of screws required for securing light gauge steel studs in a uh, partition wall, that's a very particular, very detailed piece of information, but it's also a very detailed piece of information that's not a custom detail, it's not a specific detail, it's a sort of generalized detail for all of the partition walls that you would be putting in. So if you start thinking about that for a second, like well, where would you put that note on a floor plan? It just it doesn't fit to a floor plan scenario. It doesn't it doesn't it's not logical. All the partitions would have to be called out in some way. Uh, so it's clearly not the floor plans. Um, and if you imagine the floor plans being filled with that kind of information, the floor plans would become essentially unreadable. They would be you know, almost impossible to understand what the heck was going on because they'd be filled with, you know, if the partition screws are in there, then so is everything else, right? So uh, the floor plans would just be kind of uh, completely unreadable. So then what about the building sections? So let's think about a building section for a second. If you imagine a building section and, uh, well, it's going to be a terrible building section, but we'll give it a shot here. Uh, so here we have our building. Uh, kind of what's the point of a building section? <laughs> Let's hope your drawings are better than my drawings. Uh, if you look at a building section, kind of what's the point of that, of that drawing? The building sections have a couple of uh, very specific things that they're trying to get across. One is obviously a kind of uh, sense of the sort of verticality of the, of the structure, kind of how things are sort of functioning spatially. You can't really see that in a plan. You can only really see that when you combine a plan with a section. So kind of understanding that, that's an important aspect of a building section. The other thing that a building section is doing is it's giving you an opportunity uh, to put uh, vertical dimensional information. Uh, so I can start having... Uh, uh, you know, heights uh, listed on this. Sometimes people will put that information also on plans, but you really shouldn't. You should really only have the vertical information, the vertical dimensioning on the building sections, sometimes also on elevations, but it should really only show up on uh, the uh, uh, building sections. The other kind of thing that shows up, uh, if you imagine that this thing has, let's say, a little bit more information, maybe I've got some uh, corridors here, there's a person in the corridor, and in order to have a place to put the uh, HVAC, I have a lower ceiling uh, in that corridor than I do in the main space. So the building section allows me to see those kind of big ideas of how the spaces are being sort of uh, controlled through the ceiling planes. Uh, so that's another big thing that's, that's happening with the building sections. And then the last of the important things that's happening with the building sections is I'm going to see things like a place to say, all right, there's a detail about this parapet, and that detail is located at a specific spot. Let's say drawing four on sheet A6. Or maybe it's a wall section, and I'm going to say, all right, there's the wall section, and those wall sections are on A4, and this happens to be wall section number three. So the building section, the point of a building section in a typical construction set is actually only slightly more detailed than what I've just drawn. Uh, it's really meant to be schematic. Uh, the point is as a way to give you that sort of general sense of the vertical spaces, the dimensional possibilities, and then as a reference point for other drawings. So I can figure out where I need to really get the real information, but I'm not using this drawing as a way to get across detail. Detail shows up in all of the other drawings. 
So right off the bat, we can say the floor plans are much more schematic than this level of information, uh, and the building sections are also much more schematic than this level of information that the question is about. So then it really comes down to Division 9, Division 5. So we can start thinking about how the divisions work. Uh, division 2 is going to be sort of site and uh, kind of existing conditions. Division 3 is going to be concrete. Division 4 is going to be masonry. Uh, division 5 is going to be metals. Um, and you should remember these, uh, at least the first bunch. Uh, uh, division 6 is uh, wood. Division 7 is moisture. Um, so that's like roofs and uh, uh, flashings and things like that. Uh, division 8 is windows and doors. Uh, and then Division 9 is finishes. All right, so when we look back at our question, the question is about light gauge steel and how many screws it takes. Uh, and so the obvious answer is, well, you would think it would be five, but it would be wrong. It's actually nine. It's finishes. So B is the correct answer. So this is kind of a trick question. Um, I put this on here specifically to uh, kind of call out that you have to really be careful about some of these things. Sometimes the answers seem so obvious that uh, you really have to go sort of, you know, choose the obvious one. But you have to really kind of figure out what they're really asking here. Uh, finishes is a bigger category than it might sound. You know, it has flooring and drywall and, you know, wallpapers and stuff like that. But it also has all the things that are associated with those elements. Uh, so in the same way that, say, you might have a metal flashing, well, the metal flashing is going to fall under Division 7, not under Division 5, metals. So these things are slightly more complicated than they may sound, uh, and uh, this is a particular one that is kind of famous for these sorts of questions uh, because it seems so obvious that metal studs should be in the metal category, but in fact, they're usually found uh, in the uh, finishes category because it's so tightly, you can't really talk about drywall partitions without thinking of the metal studs associated with them. So I think that one is trickster enough that uh, I'm, I'm going to give my blessing to say that if somebody didn't get that one right, uh, uh, that they could uh, still get the, the t-shirt. What yeah, do you say, Mark? <clears throat> yeah, I have to say here we had... Um... Uh, almost no, but well, that's not fair. We had six out of uh, maybe like 10% or so uh, of our group got it right. Yeah. And impressive job on those six. Almost every single other person. Yeah. They, it's okay. it really this is absolutely a kind of a trick question. Unfortunately, it's a kind of trick question that might show up on the exam. Um, I I've seen this on other uh, practice exams. Uh, both from NCARB and from other places, some, something, a similar version to this. So, I, like, I know it's out there, um, and there's some other examples, like I said, the flashing and some of these other ones. So you just have to be a little careful about how you think about these things. Don't uh, jump straight to the conclusion. Mm -hmm.